Boys and Girls, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, well, you already know. Oh wait, this is this is not studying. That's my YouTube channel. I will be doing another study time. I can't. It, the glare is like a lot. But I'll be doing another study time. Yes, that's right. In study times, I will be showing you tips and tricks on how to study, be more productive, and well, just be a better student in general. So this is a 16 day long series all the way up until exams, which are next week. Let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you my secret on how to still stay fit while you're studying. So I notice when I'm studying, I'm sitting. When I'm at school, I'm sitting. When I'm maybe on the bus or in a car, I'm sitting for sure. I'm not standing in the car. Are you, are you weird? Or, are you weird or something? But yeah, so you're doing a lot of sitting and well like, wow. You realize you're like, wow, I do a lot of sitting. When do I flex my arms or I like do anything like active? So what I'd recommend to do is, I, last week I talked about breaks and all that, but we're gonna talk about doing breaks, but with a little bit more oomph to it. You can't really see my legs as much, but you don't have to. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, actually, is you're only gonna wanna stretch. So 10 seconds per stretch works. You do arm across, count to 10, obviously switch, get the lat working over here. Oh yeah, good, good. all that back, ooh. Um, behind, or you can go like, Touch your toes, you can't really see my face if I do that. It, you can't see it, but pull your right leg behind and touch your heel with your butt. Get all that moving, switch, bring it forward. You could do so many little stretches. Um, jog on the spot a bit. Like this is all in like 10 minutes. You can decide all what you want to do. Maybe next video I'll actually do like a full workout break. You just want to jog a bit, get that blood flowing through your legs again, through your abs. Butt cheeks, because y'all know when you're studying and your butt just falls asleep, you're like, oh, what the heck? So yeah, just wanna get that. You can do squats. Oh yeah, get that. All you nerds out there, oh yeah, the ladies love the um, glutes. <laughs> so you wanna do that? Um, what I also like doing, I don't know how well this angle is gonna actually work out. Oh, my neck hurts so much. <laughs> I'm holding my neck like this. Do my neck hurts, but usually you have your hands like this, like this, or like this. Just stomach. And a good idea for when you're doing your sit-ups, instead of going like down, like right. Oh, my neck hurts so much. You're gonna wanna like, let's just put your hand on your chest, go down, but instead of going fully down, instead you wanna go before you hit the ground. Get back up. <sighs> Same thing. So now your abs will always be activated. What I also like doing is your reverse crunch. So you go on your back. Basically, you can have your hands on your head and just have your knees bent and bring your knees to your face while lifting your butt into the air. So it's like. You either have your knees together or them slightly open. I like doing both. They both work the same. And all that jazz. Ooh. What I also like doing, it's another great thing to do, is push ups. Push ups are amazing. If you're a nerd, do like 10, or like try and do as many as you can. So let's say you go only do one. You can only go, ugh, ugh, one, right? So let's say you can only do one. What I want you to do is get into this position, stay there for 10 seconds, okay? I want you to stay. Just in push-up position for 10 seconds. One, ah, oh, freaking hands cramping, ow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it with my knuckles then because my hands are being a bit annoying. So you wanna hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And when you hold it, go down on your knees, bend your arms, then extend your arms. Go again, hold for five, bend your knees, Go down and extend, okay? That'll get you the same, not the same, but like a half decent work for your arms. And just like, it'll be a lot more tiring than just going full knee push-ups. But if you're a little bit more advanced and you could do actual push-ups, obviously, sets of 10 work, right? 
You want to, when you're doing your push up, keep your elbows in rather than having them out like this, right? Keep your elbows in. What you also want to do is with your hands, push on like your right here on the inside so you can activate your chest and your back a little bit more. Same thing with pull-ups if you have a pull-up bar on your door or something. But you're gonna want to use the inside of your hand rather than the outside because look at the outside. Oh my God, that's a lot harder. Inside, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's easy. Keeping your elbows in and if you don't actually know how to do this, um, put your arm and tighten your armpits to activate your chest and then when you're going back, close it and like kind of reach back and like Try to like get your two elbows together without getting them together. So that's the push up type idea. So you're gonna wanna squeeze your back, squeeze your armpits. Squeeze your back, squeeze your armpits. Okay? So on your way down, you're gonna wanna bring your elbows like, and you can feel it in your shoulder blades. Down, bring your elbows in, squeeze. And oh my gosh, mom's being tired already, bro. One more tip, one more tip, one more tip. You're gonna wanna go fully up. Arms are fully extended, not like, not like this, okay? Fully extended. Push-ups are great. There's so many variations, like you got triangle, you got uh, what I just did. Slow, fast, medium, high rep, low rep. So many different things. But I definitely recommend doing this because like, well, if you want gains, or you just wanna stay in shape, because I noticed that for like the past like week, I haven't worked out my abs a bit. And bro, 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 when I flexed, you could barely see my abs. And I was like so upset. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All my hard work for like two, three weeks of me just doing crunches is gone in like under a week. So I was really upset about that. So don't let your hard work go to waste. And if you're Okay, I'm sorry if I called you a nerd and if you feel offended. But if you are somebody that studies too often and actually doesn't have a nice, scrumptious butt. <laughs> okay, this is like, uh, <laughs> that was weird. But if you're not that type of person, just doing this here and there for your breaks, oh my, mm, you're already, you eventually you'll get above average that average person. The average person does nothing. They're average, right? You don't want to be average. You want to be the best possible you, right? So, yeah, crunches, push-ups, jogging on the spot, stretching. Very, very important. And well, I'll be getting back to work. Hope you boys and girls have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me one of mm, those. Fat one of those. And yeah, please subscribe if you want any more content. If you want workout videos, bro, 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 bro. I got you. I'll give you my ab routine. And well, my shoulders. It's like, how can you tell if you tell? But I have half decent shoulders. Here and here, I forget what they're called. Don't worry, I got you. If you like it, and comment, bro. Workout routine, bam, I'll get you after these 16 days are done. Hope boys and girls enjoy, and peace.